Welcome back everyone, my name is Joe and today I'm going to show you how to make your own Minecraft server on your home PC. So yes, let's get started. So in this video I'm going to be going over how to make the server, how to join the server, how to give yourself OP or admin, however you want to class it as. And then we'll talk about a bit about port forwarding and at the end we'll talk about problem solving. Uh, problem solving is if your server didn't start up, let's say, uh, you'll just skip to the end of the video and I'm going to go over some... Uh, things what can happen and I'm going to show you how to fix your own server if it doesn't start at first time but anyway let's get actually into making the server so you want to go down down below into video description and click on minecraft.net this is the official page of minecraft where you download everything and while you're down there make sure you hit the like button and subscribe so anyway once you've clicked on the link you're going to come to this page you want to go to the side of it where it just says menu and then you want to go down to download now when you're here you want to just scroll down just a touch and you should see a section play with your friends and then there's a section set up your own minecraft server that is in green writing now once you're on this page uh, this is where you actually download the actual jar file so you want to just find the download uh, section so that's just here and the current version is 1.11 uh, let's say in the future it's 1.11.2 it will follow the same process so you just gotta just remember the numbers don't really matter it should follow the same process and uh, yeah so anyway let's actually download the jar file so minecraft underscore server point one point eleven point or dot jar however you want to say it so we've downloaded it now the next thing I'm going to do is actually make a folder on my desktop and I'm going to call it uh, Minecraft server and I'm going to put the version number in as well. So all you need to do is drag and drop the jar file so it's in there. Now you want to come back to the main uh, download page and you see this red writing right here. You want to highlight it and you want to copy it. So as long as you've got that copy that's okay. So now we can actually start uh, editing this file and get the server started. Now the first thing I always recommend you doing, and this is very crucial before you go on to any other step, is to right click on the jar file and you want to go down to rename and you want to get rid of these numbers. Go go all the way back so it just says Minecraft underscore server, absolutely nothing else. And there we go. So now it's still a jar file because it's, you know, uh, type here, nice and still a jar file, but it says no points something something on the end. Uh, because that's what confuses a lot of people. So now it just says Minecraft underscore server. We can go ahead and make the text document. So you don't need to name anything, just uh, right click and edit. And I'm going to use Notepad. And that thing what we copied earlier, we're going to actually paste the code in here. So what this is, it's telling Java to execute this uh, jar file here, and it's what it's going to start up your server. So as you see here, you see this name right here, that matches it exactly like that. Now if you have like point something on the end, this won't work because you've got to edit the code. So as long as these, this name right here, I've highlighted, matches this jar file name, it, it should work absolutely fine. So now we've got that, we want to go uh, file and then go down to save as and we want to rename it. So you can type in start, go. Uh, run. I like to use run. It's up to you what you want to use But the main point after you've named it whatever you want to do is you want to save it as a Dot bat bat file. So as long as you've got dot bat on the end, you should be fine So we're gonna save it and it's been created so we can exit out of this now and delete that old text document So you should have two files and uh, you're ready to start up your server So I'm gonna double click run and the server should start up and close away straight away because we've got to accept the uh, end use end user a license agreement or EULA and currently it's false we just got to stick in true so we'll save it uh, I did edit it in notepad plus plus then so I'll show you in notepad so as you see here just type in true and then save it whichever way you'd like to save it as long as, as, long as that file is true your server should start up without a hitch so the server's going to start running up. I, you do get some errors at the start, but don't worry about them. Uh, it's currently uh, generating the world files or the spawn area, and the server is done. So now we can actually uh, start up Minecraft. So we'll just wait for this to load. And then we can actually... So we've got uh, 1.11, and we'll play. Let it load up. 
there we go and now there's there's two ways you can connect to it you can add a server like here so uh, I've got a local host so that is the IP or you can go direct connect and the IP to connect to your server is local host as it just says there nothing else so that's looking for any uh, servers on your local host network or on your computer and as you see we are in our own minecraft server so yes that's how you make a server so now i'm going to show you how you can uh, op yourself so i'm going to go into the console uh, not into not into chat just into the console so as long as you've got this little uh, line so you can type in like that you want to actually type in so you want to type in op quad bamba or you know instead of quad bamba it'll be your username uh, what you use in minecraft and i've opt myself and it will actually tell me in chat so now this will allow me to go into game mode one so i can go into creative and fly around and do whatever you want on your server and then if you would like to shut down your server it is always best to go uh, save dash all so that saves will and then you can press stop to stop your server so that is how you make your minecraft server so very simple and you know we can start it up again so we'll just let it run so this time we don't even get any errors because it it's everything's been you know built and loaded in so then that is how you make your Minecraft server so I'm going to talk a bit about port forwarding so if you, I'm going to give you a very uh, brief understanding of it port forwarding allows you to open your server up to the public or eg it's preferred to you know your friends so let's say you want a friend to connect to your server um, you know, you'll give them your uh, IP of your router or your internet provider and they'll put it in their Minecraft and you'll be able to join together in the same server. Now, I haven't got a port forwarding video on my channel, but I do have a few uh, port forwarding videos uh, what I watch. So I will link a port forwarding video down in the description. It'll be labeled as port forwarding. So once the server started and, you know, everything's working, you can connect. The next step is if you want to get your friends on. You'll actually uh, just go down to the video description, click on the port forwarding link, and it will take you to another YouTube video, not on my channel. And uh, this person will explain how to port forward. But I will, I will warn you right now, port forwarding can be very difficult. Uh, it's very advanced, but if you can get it to work, it, it, trust me, it's a lot more fun to play with your friends online. So yeah, that is how you would port forward. So just go down to the description, as I said, and click on the port forwarding link and... Uh, the video what I would hopefully recommend should probably do a better job than me explaining it. So yeah, that is how you make your server and that's a bit about port forwarding. Now we're going to just go on to problem solving. So let's say um, you've just made your server and you're just about to click the run file or you don't have a, a EULA file. Uh, you double click run and it opens and closes really quickly, like milliseconds let's say. 9 times out of 10, that means your Java needs to be updated. So how you update your Java is go into the bottom. So I'm on Windows 10, where you, and or you, or you can go into the search bar on uh, Windows 7. It's up to you. Uh, type in Java. Go to Config Java, and it should bring you to the main uh, Java panel. And you want to go to the Updates tab at the top, and Update Now. Mine is already fully updated. I uh, recently updated about... A few days ago and there was an update out so that is one way you can fix it the other way let's say the update did not fix it the next step is to completely uninstall all your Java uh, and reinstall Java 64 bits and that will allow you to make your server hopefully now I will warn you there is a slight chance you know I mean a real small chance that you know sometimes your the Minecraft server just won't work on that PC if it's too old or uh, there's something else running uh, with it at the same time so I do warn you on that but that is pretty much how you fix a server that's uh, my that's the main uh, thing what happens if your server doesn't start up so anyway guys I hope I've explained this well enough for you and I hope you enjoy your brand new Minecraft server I welcome you to the server community let's say and that is it so make sure you subscribe uh, like the video and go follow me on Twitter and please always suggest your tutorials and anything down into the YouTube comments. If you need help, please just ask. All I ask is if you ask nicely, you'll get a, a nice reply back. Um, if you can explain the biggest, you know, explain as much as you can, nine times out of ten, I'll be able to help you even quicker. So yes, anyway, that is it. So as I said, make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you next time 
in the next video. Goodbye.